guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm back with Love You to Bits, and the new content just got added, which uh, ends the game. So I'm going to show you how to get through levels 27, 28, and the ending. Enjoy! Okay, so here we're going to do two things, because uh, we need to get the flashlight, which is extra, and a golf club. First, we're going to press the button here twice. Bear head to get the golf clubs. And now add the basketball. And that dropped the flashlight. That's one of the bonus items. So grab the golf club, grab the flashlight, and now we can continue on.
Okay, so we have it now, but don't go through yet. We still have two more items to go back for. Um, you can only get them at this point. So, first come in here. One of the zombies will be gone, and there's a coin on her chair. So pick that up. Come out here to go back outside to get one of the other items. It's annoying because you can't get it until you pick up the shoe, oddly enough. Um, logically, that doesn't make sense. It should happen, it should be available after the globe rolls, but I tried that and it wasn't. Uh, so come back here to get the last one. I'm going to use the coin on this machine. Now if you go back through here, you'll be able to get through this time. that hat. Now you should have all three items. And you can go back through the portal. Okay, last level before the end. Uh, this one has some timed elements, so bear with me. There's only one uh, missing item, though. Bonus item. So, enjoy. Okay, so here you need to pull them in a specific order. It's trial and error. If you mess up, you'll have to start over. So it goes like this. This. If you need extra help, I put a screenshot on my website that shows the order. Okay, this is a little annoying. Um, you have to catch the bombs and throw them. So there's a lot of timed elements in this level. And he walks very slowly, so hopefully 
It won't be too painful. Okay, so here it's a memory game, a uh, matching memory game. Again, I have it on my website if you need help. I have a picture of all the screens turned on. But you need to... You don't get restarted, reset um, if you mess any up, as long as you match two. So again, if you need help with this one, um, if I went too fast for you, just uh, I have a screenshot on my site. Okay, this part's annoying. You have to grab the bomb and then... Oh, shoot. And then he's gonna bubble up. You have to run to the bubbles and then bomb him. And you have to do this a bunch of times with his slow walking. So if he's already up, don't bother running. Wait till he bubbles up again. Otherwise you're gonna have to just... you're gonna end up throwing it in the... in the lava and it's gonna be a waste of your time. So pay attention to the bubbles and just run. What? Okay, that should have been fast enough, but whatever. No. Wait a little bit. I mean, I couldn't pos- I can't possibly walk faster. He's so freaking slow. Alright. But, that's how they want to do it. That's how they do it. Okay, so that's it. It's through. Might take a few missed shots to get it working, but... Alright, this part's kind of fun. You need to get the right guns for each wall. So the first one is bomb, then fire. Let's go back to fire. And last is Oh, I forgot what the last one is. Oh, it was water, I think. Okay. So first, before you do that, we can get, do the, get a few chickens just for fun. Chickens! There's no more. No more chickens after three. I thought that was going to be the hidden item. It's not the hidden item, and I didn't get an achievement for it either, which is disappointing. I'm not sure what the hidden achievements are at this point. If I figure them out, I'll add them to my website. Um, Alright, so this one's a little tricky. Not too bad, though. Another timed one. So, you want to turn it this way. Press the button. And now run up and he'll get stuck there. And now you're just going to do it for the other side. So another timed element. Frustratingly timed when he walks so slow. And now get it back in the middle and press the button again so now he won't be able to stop it. Okay, now you can go through. Alright, so here there is a little hidden button, very, very, very tiny, and we're going to press it before we continue, because it'll give us a little less uh, of retracing our steps, so that's the button. I'm going to press this button to get the hidden item. 
It's all the way back. All the way back. So I'm gonna go fetch it before I finish. They just thought, how can we make the walking, the slow, slow walking more annoying? It's like they sat down and thought, what can make it even less fun? Going all the way back, all the way back to the first screen to get the back, to get that extra item. It's hilarious, isn't it? No, it's not hilarious. It's really freaking annoying. Um, okay, here we are. The Book of Memories. We got it. We took a long journey to get it, and now we're gonna go all the way back. Yeah. Yeah. All the way back. But we saved like one screen by getting it now and not after opening the portal. We saved like maybe a few seconds, maybe. Almost there, sort of. The last bit is actually pretty basic. There's not much left. Not really any puzzles. Almost there. God, it's boring walking this far in the game. Definitely would not survive a zombie apocalypse without that big globe. If he had to outrun them, it wouldn't work. Alright, let's go finish the game. Okay, so that's 28. All that's left is the ending. Enjoy. And that's the end. I'm sure nobody guessed that she would wake up once she's put together. I mean, nobody would guess that. No, I think it would have been funny if it had a different ending, something we weren't, wouldn't have expected. But that's the end. Uh, love you to bits. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.